we are within running distance of this place, of this garage, where we're gonna buy toys and games. Dang, this is gonna be tough right here. He's gonna want it, I'm gonna want it. I can feel the excitement running to my fluffiness! Happiness! Please, what do you believe this guy? And when I mean heavy, I mean heavy as heck. I was scared to pick it up. I don't wanna pick it up. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm excited. I'm very happy because Ricky is his first time. What's up, dog? <laughs> I genuinely, genuinely wanted that sweater. Well, it doesn't fit me anyway. I'm the fat one here. <laughs> Let me see that. Why are you laughing? How's he walk like this? How's he walk like this, right? Ow, dude, why are you hitting me so hard? Right to the main area of the garage, and we're honestly double looking, because every single time we go to a different shelf, something new pops up. It's like there's something behind something behind something, and what would you do on this guy, on this guy, boy? today because I haven't felt like we're doing like a real pursuit pursuit in a while. We're actually gonna go look at some guy's collection. He's ready to sell and we're ready to buy. Today we are heading out. We are driving about an hour 45 minutes, two hours away. We're going all the way down to Palmdale, California to go game hunting, toy collecting, all of the above. Out in some guy's garage who like has a little store in his house. And then after that, we're going to Gabo's game room to show Mikey and Ricky and maybe do some trades or something. It's been a while since we've done one of these and I'm honestly so excited, especially because we're going to Gabo's. I haven't been there. Oh man, I am so excited. I, I miss conventions, everything like that. This is gonna be one of those days where you go somewhere and you know there's gonna be stuff you want regardless. So I'm on the seat. I, I'll see. I wanna see. I wanna see how good it is. Feeling like Sunday morning. So we're making our way, having a good time. Well, <coughs> dibs on any sign. <laughs> Just Ricky and I on the road, gonna meet up with Gabo there, later meet up with Mikey. It's gonna be a great time, I can't wait. I'm really excited just to see his game room, he's always bragging about it, he's like, alright, got some good stuff. So, uh, 2020. Finally, finally, pursuit, real pursuit, we're back in business. Dream. Nice. <laughs> I asked my friend to come and see me. Should we go back home? I think we should. Yeah, let's go back home. Driving down the road, long road trip. Uh, oh my god, being out of mind got cracked right now. We stop, we meet up with Gabo, and we get some food. Because uh, we cannot eat inside. So we have to eat out here where there's fires and we can barely breathe. That makes sense. We know we are within running distance of this place, of this garage, where we're gonna buy toys and games. Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel the excitement running through my fluffy oh, no. I have My eyes are open big beneath these, you just can't see. So, but now, we just talked to the guy, we're officially on our way, we're only like 10 minutes away. See, me excited. It's gonna be garage hunting. Garage hunting, insert the theme song. Ba -na -ba -na -na, ba -na -na -na, ba -na I knew it. What? Oh! Hi, Ricky missed it. So it never happened.
So we finally make it to this guy's place and honestly he has a ton of stuff. And by a ton of stuff I mean he has right here. So we pull up and right away this feels great because he has the garage wide open, open to the public even, kind of as a yard sale. And look at this link. It's legit, look at the Skyward link. Dude, look at that. Oh my god. Holy cow, cool like Figmas and all that good stuff that you don't necessarily see all the time. You know who's this guy, right? Yeah. From Figmas? I forgot the name. He's so famous, he's infamous. <laughs> but really it's more of a collection of really cool eclectic things. And I mean, he has stuff everywhere. This thing's actually beautiful. I, have, I actually have a, quite a bit of these figures, but I do not have this one. So we're already excited, we're here, and it's time to dig, dig deep, and get whatever we can, however we can, at whatever cost. I'm down to buy everything if I had the money, but I don't got money. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some money from Riff by the end of the day, no matter what. Get my 360 out and play some Devil May Cry. Man, I, is that the only console I've ever played it on? I'll trade Gabo and Ricky for a toy at this point. I'll trade Mikey for a broken NES game, to be honest. We look like a couple creeps. You think you're gonna borrow money from me? He has everything saran wrapped. He has everything nice and clean and organized and priced. Now I know for some people that can be a bad thing or it can be a good thing, but right away, this guy's really cool and he goes, hey, <laughs> whatever you see on the stickers, just to let you know, no, that's not necessarily the sticker price. Just let me know you want it and we'll work something out. Well, hi there, I'm Aki Hikikomori. I'm from YouTube and welcome to Mini Akihabara. I sell um, Japanese figures um, and retro video games. And I, I'm seeing stuff, I'm seeing stuff at all corners. Something that catches my eye is something I know a lot of cool. people have. Down here you have like the uh, the plug and plays. These were at a couple places a while back. Double Dragon. And it's plug and plays. Now I see these cool plug and plays in the box. The box for this is cool, I'd be debating if you ever bought something like this, taking it out of the box or not, you know what I mean? I'm not necessarily sure if I need to buy them, so for now, I think I saw them at Fry's Electronics is where I saw this thing originally. So for now, I'm gonna pass on the plug and plays, but I might come back to them. I have a so, feeling. I don't pay attention to prices too much, near as much as I should. I know most people are paying a lot better attention. I'm not, I admit. I promise I have a feeling. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? It is what it is. Happiness. <laughs> I'm salivating at the idea of it. Alright, so one thing, I just started looking at the clothes. I don't even know why. I was just hoping I'd find something. You know what? I started scrolling through all these clothes that he had. He had, I can't not go for this. I mean, my wife's gonna kill me. How much me. are those? Sorry, I just bought the whole rack. Alone in the dark shirt. He had some Call of Duty shirts, but the one thing that I really wanted, I'm definitely going for this for two bucks. For Gears of War sweater. What's this Gears of War sweater? Like, the original Gears of War sweater. I was like, If you can't stand the heat, stay out of my face. get this and I asked them the price I asked them the price because it had a little text that too I was like there's no way there's just two bucks did you pick this up for me no this is mine wow this looks like something that would totally fit me. oh it was two bucks and I was gonna get it wow this is really nice of you Ricky Gears of War I mean I know me and Gabo convinced you to be more of an Xbox All right, I'll tell you generation. what I was actually holding on to it you name the four character main characters of Gears of War and I'll let you you can, you can get it okay when I showed it to Riff I could tell he wanted it too so I was like Marcus. Dang, this is gonna be tough right here. He's gonna want it. I'm gonna want it. Tom. <laughs> That's why I don't give it to him. I genuinely, genuinely wanted that sweater. Well, he doesn't fit me anyway. I'm the fat one here. Let me see that. <laughs> why you see it? I'm not gonna steal it. Not because of the Gears of War logo, but it had the Xbox 360 logo on it. Man. Oh my god. This would look good on me for two bucks. <laughs> hey my friend, you don't have two X. <laughs> You got these in other, other sizes, bro? And I've been big into the Xbox stuff lately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ricky's genuinely buying this. We're gonna clash, eventually. Years of War, Xbox 360 sweater. You can tell it's old. You can tell it's actually vintage from the days of Xbox 360 Gears of War. I didn't get it. Thanks, Ricky. Xbox. To me, I honestly didn't think it was as cool when you were looking at the back, but when you turn it over and this was on there. Oh, that's why you, oh, that's why you wanted it. I just, I'm like, Gears of War, yes! Who ended up getting it? 
<laughs> right here. Ooh. Thanks, Gabo. It's always nice that Gabo gives me things. <laughs> no! My God, that hurt my pinky. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> I was looking at all the toys, all the games, and everything was awesome. But there was something that caught my eye. I don't know if I ever told you that I love God of War. It's one of my favorite franchise. I collect Kratos. God of War is one of my favorite franchise. And I've been looking for this statue or this figure for a long time. So anyway, what the? I think this is a God of War 2, right? I think so, I used to have that actually. Really? Yeah, I didn't know you wanted that. I think it was the the figure from God of War 2. <sighs> Don't tell me you already saw it. <laughs> Good old Ricky. I didn't have room for it, oh my god. And it was marked 35 bucks. But the guy gave me a really, really good deal. You're gonna see. Last time I saw this, it was in Colombia. South America. <laughs> Holder, action pack. The story is awesome. It's gore. Oh, I forgot you're recording. <laughs> nice. and I, and I, and I happiness, and I'm sweating right now. <laughs> yeah. I prayed for for to metal Jesus earlier. You ever go collecting and nostalgia hunting, and you see something that you were like, "There's no way that would have caught my eye and made me want it." So I'm always looking for like bigger items that kind of like go on shelf stuff because shelf stuff is the kind of stuff that are like, this is interesting. I asked the seller too, he wasn't sure exactly because this wasn't his thing. When I was walking around this place, I kept seeing this M&M's, big M&M's yellow figure. Uh, it does say that it's from May 28th, 1999 from the Mars M&M's company. It's like genuinely like this big and I'm looking at it like, do I need this? Not really. But I kept visualizing it because of the way it's shaped sitting on the edge of one of my shelves. This is big if you want to get a scale model. It's like a little bit, almost my full forearm size. With the big, bright yellow color, I think it's actually going to be a cool piece. Again, with its size, its shape, and its stability of how it sits, something from 1999, that cool, I'm going to get it. Oh, and I got it for 10 bucks. But it's colorful, so it's going to look good on the wall next to some of my stuff, maybe next to my Sega stuff that's gonna be coming soon. Hina M&M's genuinely are the best M&M's. Prove me wrong. What's a better M&M? Bundle it together. I know you love those. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Aaron is so California. Oh! Dude, this is cool. So while I'm here, I think it's the perfect time to announce something huge for me on the show. This is huge for me personally on the show. Big announcement for me on the show. I collect different games all the time, different things. I get lost in what I want to collect. I never know what to take seriously, what I care about loose, anything like that. I have my new arcade room, plenty of space, and I have this empty space where I don't know what to do with it. So I've decided to pick one console and one console only to focus on that, to make sure I am focused. Only one game collection of video games, one console to really collect for video games. So I'm picking only, only, boxed only, Sega Genesis. Welcome to the next level. Genesis games. So starting from zero, I have zero Sega Genesis games right now because I've traded them out. So, and since I'm here and I've already made this decision personally, mentally, a few days ago, I see a boxed Sega Genesis, literally the box, Mortal Kombat, a classic game. Ooh. This is box only, so it's $3. Oh, that's cool. So this is gonna be the first thing I'm gonna buy. The game's not even it in here yet. complete. This is a big deal to me because this is the first official box that's going on that shelf. Per first purchase of something Genesis related. Uh... You have no idea how much my leg was shaking doing that squat right there. That's it, it's begun. The Genesis craziness has begun starting today. I'll be done when I have a complete collection boxed. It's getting awkward quick. Sorry. Super Nintendo. Don't 
Don't you want to have fun playing Sega? Sega? Sega who? Wrong answer, pal. Show him! It's new. It's wild. It's Sega. International Sega TV games are now here. From Shaw Wallace. Take it! Want some more? Yeah, yeah! Unlock your mind. Sega! All right, well, we're here. What's the lowest you'll go on this guy? Sure. On this. I'm not gonna open it, I just want it for display. Oh, yeah. So I came back to this item. I was walking around and I kept thinking, again, me, I want my game room to keep looking beautiful. I am so obsessed with the way my game room looks, I'm not gonna lie. What's the lowest you'll go on him? Um, so I was thinking about the Double Dragon plug and play that I passed up on earlier. So I basically tell the guy, hey, I know there's a sticker price on it. What's the lowest you go? I do 20 bucks on it. I was going to say I would give you 20 bucks for it if you were going to ask me. <laughs> I'll take it! I talked about this earlier! He throws out the number, the exact number that I was literally thinking to pay him if he said, what is it worth to you? This is the- I want it now. <laughs> so, for display purposes only, perfect Double Dragon, huge part of my childhood. I'm excited because, man, Double Dragon is one of those games, if you were an NES kid, or really arcade or Sega Master System, other ports as well, other consoles. But man, the NES game Double Dragon to me was a huge part of my life. Even Double Dragon 3, which is kind of hated in the retro gaming community, people talk trash Wait, on. the NES one or yeah, the arcade the one? the NES one. Really? People, I like it. People talk trash, they say it was too hard, too uh, difficult. No. Just seeing the branding for Double Dragon is like visual eye pleaser. It's one of those things where it looks beautiful. And you want to know what's really weird right now? Double Dragon, Nintendo, single player only, sadly, but still. Gabo's doing like some weird stretch over there. Gabo looks like a Bobo. Wow. And you kind of remind me of what a Bobo would talk like if a Bobo was a real person. Do, 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 do. How do you walk like this? How do you walk like this, right? Ow, dude, why are you hitting me so hard? Like this? Mm. No, no, no. That's too good to be true. And look at these transformers. I think that's side swipe and swoop. Wait, is this side swipe? I think that is side swipe. I actually have the Michelangelo of that. Did you know that? I found the Michelangelo of that for 20 bucks. Ah, oh, dogs. We was we was ready to pay the guy. We are ready choose what we're gonna buy. You guys wanna see more stuff? And the guy say, well, I got more stuff, personal stuff, you can, I know you guys gonna love it. Yes! Yeah. What do you got, you got another spot? Wait, <laughs> so we gotta go. He just told us he has more stuff that we might be able to go look at. Come on in, man. <laughs> Beyond the do not entry? Then he invited us to his personal collection, to his amazing room. Wow! Yeah. Basically, it's the expensive items. When I get there, so it's the area where we probably won't buy anything, but we can at least yeah. <laughs> He reminds me of Willy Wonka. Watch Ricky, okay? He's known to steal things. What? <laughs> yeah, watch his pockets. Uh-oh. Oh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ricky's gonna die. We're gonna use oh, the Oh my gosh! Dude. Oh my god, dude. Wow! So he takes us to the back, his back. I don't know if that's his personal collection or anything, but he said everything's for sale. I honestly don't remember his real name. I just remember calling him Rex. Can I give you a finger for this? <laughs> we walk in, no joke, my mouth dropped because he had a ton of crazy expensive, you know, the big figures and all that good stuff. A lot of stuff. Dude, this this game is pretty legit. I couldn't believe it until I played it at Reefo's house. That's the first wrestling figure? Yeah, SCF1. Dude, it's pretty sick. 1982. Wow. Made in Japan. on Street Fighter for this one. <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing that really caught my eye was this giant Salma statue. It was, dude, it was giant. Okay, 
can't leave it outside. <laughs> and I really wanted it. I wanted it so much, especially after I asked him if it lit up, and he said oh, yes. Oh, 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 so much cooler. <laughs> oh my god. Literally we all, I could tell we all wanted this thing because this thing was beautiful. It, the detail on it was so good and heavy. And when I mean heavy, I mean heavy as heck. I was scared to pick oh, it up. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have Riff pick it up because I'm like, dude, I'm not picking that thing up. That thing's expensive. Whoa, Ricky, this is heavy. I know, I picked I tried to lift it up. If I'm rich like you guys, and I live in the most beautiful area of California. Who knew, you know, when Nintendo and... I would take my wallet and I say, give it to me. Came out with Metroid and we all got the reveal that Samus Aran was a girl and that... The game would go on so long and Super Metroid and become one of the most beloved gaming franchises out. This is God level. Ricky, you should hold this, bro, but be careful once you hold it. And after he passed it to me, I, I just wanted it even more. <laughs> hey, Bobo. Ah. <laughs> We're never gonna win an award. <laughs> this one? I have this. So I don't need it, but if Gabo needs it, box only for five bucks, that's pretty legit. Is he crazy, Ricky? So we went back to the main area in the garage and we're honestly double looking because every single time we go to a different shelf, something new pops up. It's like there's something behind something behind something. And what would you do on this bad, on this bad boy? You know what, We I finally found this. It was like this uh, Marcus and Locust figure. It was like a double combo, but I'm gonna have to borrow money. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gavel already used his up. It's one of those really cool ones that has like the blood coming out of it, so he's actually chainsawing the locust. Just chill, bro. <laughs> hey, chill, Gavel. Chill. Oh my gosh, so. And I wanted it. I mean, it, it it looked like it was pricey, and this beautiful Marcus taking out a locust. I was like, he'll, he'll probably cut a deal. And he did. He went down like almost 20 bucks on that thing. I mean, I don't usually see it, but. You don't see this one too often with where he's like taking out, he's uh, actually chainsawing the dude. There's another one I'm, I'm looking for where his head blows up. It's actually pretty sick. And I picked it up for 60 bucks. I mean, it's still, for a toy, it's a lot for me. Dude, that was awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like that multiplayer mode, where the horde mode. Dude, that is fun. It was so cool. And I know, I look, dude, I look for these all the time. They're hard to find. I was always Dom. He was Marcus. <laughs> Marcus it made Phoenix? sense. <laughs> so hopefully I paid the right price. <laughs> Chase after the right price. price. Cause Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Even though I still like Nintendo what? better. So my MVP item, in my humble opinion of the day, was that ninja Gaiden figure? Show you something. Just show me what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> I need to show you something. Ooh. What, do you, what do you think about this? Or Ninja Gaiden? I remember the cool guy told me how 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 to say it, but you know me, I forgot. My my childhood says my childhood says Ryu, just because that's what we did is a bunch of bunch of white kids hanging out in Street Fighter, you know. But Ryu, Ryu, see that? Ryu, Ryu, Ryu Basa. So it was price marked 100 bucks. So Ninja you Gaiden like too. these better than the original of Ninja Gaiden? Of course, Gaidens. yeah. Wow. I would. The NES version is for master, man. For people like you. I beat it. I did beat it. I never beat it before. So I asked him, he can. What is the lowest he goes? But yeah, All right. cool. Oh, I'm gonna and, get this. And how much you cut new deal? I heard. And then in my beautiful, amazing mind, I say, wow, let's bundle this. How much? Is, what was the lowest? I say, hey, my friend, can we do? Both for 100 bucks for this and the Kratos. The Ninja Gaiden, the Ryu, it was 100 bucks. It was marked 100 bucks. So he said, Yeah, cool. So we cut him a deal. 
So that's it, man. And I got the bundle, the two figures for 100 bucks. Uh, he always laughing. I know, he's over there. <laughs> that one definitely, definitely goes to my, what was? Oh, Brown Indiana Jones collection. Is it real? It's real. We look like a couple creeps. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say beat him up? Uh, whoa, I'm like, the 90s a camera model. I'm not even joking, we're just standing here and literally out of nowhere I just smelt something and no joke, they all just brought out food for us. Food, that, look at this. That's super cool. This might be the best hospitality. Oh my God. Thank you guys, this is the best. My mom's making something for you guys too. I've never... Maybe Ex hour and half. Experience such <laughs> I've never experienced such hospitality in my life. The nicest people right here. Thank you so much. Look at this. Oh my God, this is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. The the meat so good. And I got two things. The potatoes are really good. Wow! Wow, huge! Are you scared of him, bro? Please, please, buddy. <laughs> what do you think of that turtle? Dude, these are sick. I've actually seen kids ride these. In videos, I'm like, uh, I'm like, ah, we're, we're, we're about to leave. And Ricky showed something to me earlier that I was like, oh, that was really cool, actually. I thought it was a little silly at first, and then, when Ricky pulled this out earlier, my my ears sprung, my eyes opened up. As I'm about to walk out, I'm like, I, I don't know why, I need this. This oh. is, 2000, in 2004, we got a movie called Napoleon Dynamite. This Napoleon Dynamite statue. How long did it take you to grow that mustache? A couple of days. I wish I could grow one. Where, in my opinion, John Heater became one of my favorite actors, especially comedic, also in a movie called Benchwarmers that I love. Yes, it's literally John Heater, Napoleon Dynamite himself, playing tetherball. One of the most important scenes, popular scenes in the movie. Napoleon was such like a weird thing when it came out. It was such a different type of comedy that to this day, a lot of people didn't understand. A lot of people didn't really accept it. There's even a lot of people I've show younger generations this movie and they literally watch it and they're like, I don't get it, I don't get the humor. I'm like, I gotta buy this. And with toys and collectibles and certain things, it's one of those things that's really important to point out. So this is the perfect figure for me. I don't know what it's worth, I don't really care. For me, when I'm buying stuff that I wanna display on shelves, the price tag sometimes really on things like this isn't like, well, what's it actually worth? It's more just like, what is it worth to you to pick it up and put it on your shelf? It's not really part of what my process is at the price. It's, would I be willing to pay 30 bucks to have this on my shelf? Because in reality, all that matters is that you enjoy the price you paid and you think it was worth the joy that it's gonna bring you. So to have Napoleon Dynamite, a staple movie, thank you. Ricky let me get it, he kinda wanted it too, so thank you for letting me jump in on this. Honestly, probably one of the things I'm gonna show people when they walk in, like, hey, check this out. You think this stuff is cool? I got Napoleon Dynamite. Gosh! Both for Pedro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both for Pedro. Sometimes they don't wanna cooperate. If you give him a good shake, and that'll settle down. Does it have large talons? I don't understand a word you just said. I got a love, love. Yeah, yeah. I got a love, love. I got a love, love. I got a love. I got a thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> What an awesome time we had hanging out with this guy and his awesome family, by the way. Wonderful family. Yay! Wonderful hospitality, wonderful people. Thank you for hooking us up with great deals as well. It meant a lot to us. But now, niceness! <laughs> and people get in. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading out, going to Gabble's house, baby shower time. But first, let's check out his game room because I've been wanting to see this thing for a while. <laughs> Dang, $2 <laughs> items for all! Yay! Oh my goodness, this is a fluffy dance. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. We're going out. 
We're going to Gabo's house. It's time to kind of put the camera away, but before we put the camera away and hang out in baby shower mode, yeah. We gotta let Ricky see the game room. You know, have a little fun in there. So let's do that. Double bounce. Like Ricky says. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shoot, there's a bear behind me. I'm not joking. A Bobo! Yeah. I told I told Ricky Mikey's gonna say the first word. What's up, da? <laughs> hey, bro, my sentence. Okay, so today is a very special day because it's the baby shower. I don't know if I ever told you I'm ready to have another baby go. So I'm so happy because my all my friends that I love are coming, especially Riquito. This is his first time. So, anyways, what's up, saying, da? <laughs> I'm so excited to show the game room. Hi. I didn't hear the music. And I got a tradition. Every time one of my friends go for first time to my game room, I have to give him something. Hey, Good luck. See the room. Oh. See the room. oh, dang! Look at this room, man. This is beautiful. Come on, don't be, don't be, don't lie. I like it. Ah, I've been here before, so I've seen the beauty. I've seen the beauty. <laughs> Welcome to my room. Oh, oh this people is dope. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm excited, I'm very happy because Ricky is his first time. So I already told him that I was going to give my empty Xbox 360, oh, Xbox One boxes. He just gave me a bunch of boxes for the 360 controllers. So he gave me the pig from my camera. So dude, he gave me all these controller boxes. That, I love controller boxes because I get to find those controllers. Oh, it's happening guys, it's happening. And I'm gonna see, throw them in there and actually add them to the collection. Oh, sorry. Sorry to break it to you, Ricky, but those aren't Xbox 360 controllers. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little off. But I have another surprise for him. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. So I decided to give uh, Didiscom, what was the name? The Didiscom World of Nintendo Toy. Here you go. Dude, thanks, bro. Oh, P. Diddy. Oh, wait. Then he actually gave me some World of Nintendo toys that I did not have. So I'm really excited. That Diddy Kong and the two Metroids. There you go, Ricky. Yeah. Oh. 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 Shoot. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time he gave me like a bootleg Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> they go on the shelf. Those I'll probably end up opening up and displaying them. Because Nintendo toys, Gabo the Giver gives us strikes again. again. <laughs> They're pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. They're amazing. And oh. Gabo is amazing for giving me this stuff too. He's the giver. It is what it is. <laughs> and one of those, I think, is very limited. So I hope Ricky doesn't sell it. He likes to pocket stuff too. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. I like the. I like all the mix. The mix. The mixing of everything. I like the Iron Maiden. I like the Castlevania. And you got it just all right here. Look at this. Look what I took! <laughs> you stole that from Gabo's game room? No, it's a freebie. I Gabo, he sure stole this from your room. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he meant to give me that. Dude, you stole that? Go! Go! We look like a couple creeps. Hey, look at me. So the other day I was talking with Rifo and he came with the big idea. Hey, look at me, I got a big idea of collecting one console. One console, right? Yeah, making collecting easy on myself by sticking to one console, strictly collecting, and I picked Genesis Box only and I'm starting from scratch to make it fun. I'm in Gabo's game room and I, I knew at this point with Gabo it's almost impossible to think that he's not gonna give you something. He's just that kind of guy. Awesome guys. Dude. He's my Puerto Rican. My Puerto Rican. So you know me. I don't sell, I give. But is anything for sale in here though for real talk after? 
Yeah. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I actually want to buy some stuff off you. He was like, dude, I know you're just starting, just beginning, literally day one of the big decision, Genesis box games only for video games, for now, for a while, for the time being. I got these for you to start the collection. Oh, you're awesome, dude. Toki. And, yeah, this is, yes. And I got this one, but. So I decided to give him two Genesis box games, the black ones. He goes over and he gives me Toki, which is a game I've seen gameplay of. I know you play as a monkey. I know I like the sprites of the monkey. I know he has a weird mechanic. Like, you think he kind of walks like this. So I'm very excited, very happy he got me that. He got a little accident, my dog, Aussie. <laughs> Look at this! Look at his dog chewed on it! But either way, Gabo, this is so nice you, bro. A great way to start. This is a series and a franchise that is loved by, I feel like, almost every retro gamer. It needs no introduction. But it is fantastic to get in my collection. Oh, see, buy that thing. Almost destroyed. Every time, look. Yes. But I mean, it's a present. I know Rifo is gonna put it in a, in a, in a good part, you know, his game room. And that's it. Have a good day. Yeah. And uh, it's a great franchise. Gabo, you didn't have to do that. Look, at that's gonna be the start of my collection, of my Genesis box collection. That's what I'm going for exclusively. But you know, not everyone can say they got a game that was chewed on by Gabo's dog. Truth be told, I think Gabo was fasting probably that day, got a little hungry in his sleep. You're very welcome. What are you trying to do, give me a high five, bro? I do frontal hugs only. It's 2020, you have to keep the distance. I don't care about 2020. Yeah! And better, if, if Ozzy poops it out, send me the poop, and I can complete oh, peace. Oh yeah, it's over there, <laughs> the grass. All right guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for all this. We honestly had so much fun. I'm glad we got, got to finally hang out with all the boys. Shut up. Shut up. Also, this is one of my favorite Oh, uh, shut up. We don't care, bro. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, my beautiful, awesome, good friends from coming here. Go hunt with me. Uh, go to my game room. Go to my baby shower for the present for everything. I, I can do it. I'll knock all this over. Fun day hanging out with all my friends, going to different places, looking at games, looking at toys, making new friends, feeling hospitality from a family that we just met. Yeah, I'm sorry, before Transformers. Do you need a R? No, I don't. Well, I actually wouldn't mind having a third arm. This was awesome. Thank you for Gabo for inviting us over and having us over. Dude, this was just, it was a good day. I'm telling you, after all this quarantining stuff, it's nice to finally go out and do stuff with the boys. Hey, is this guy using uh, his, his work truck for a uh, personal reason? Yeah. And now <laughs> at Gabo's house, doing what matters the most, putting away the camera, hanging out with his family and his friends, getting excited for him to have a baby. Welcome a new baby giver into the world. So that's it. We're thankful that you guys are watching. I'm a new, uh, Am I singing it wrong? And Kanye has that song, whoopity scoop whoop. Whoop -a -scoop. <laughs> oh, and thank you to Aki. He was super awesome. Don't leave yet. Don't be rude. Do a baby shower. Not the baby shower. Hey. Well, see you later. Here Aww. she is. This is my wife. Wine, 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 wine. This goes out to my gamers. Why are you polluting, bro? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in Gabru's. <laughs> I'm in Gabu's. <laughs> Shut up, bro. I can't talk, right? Four, 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 four. He's a pretty sick evil. He can double. He's Pedro behind the or, camera. <laughs> what character is better, though? Are we thinking Napoleon? We thinking Tina? We thinking Uncle Rico? We thinking what? what? Lafonda? Oh shoot! <laughs> break, break. My dad did security for Chuck Norris. Not many people can say that. He's a brown man. But where? Here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only grow out like my facial hair Come a little bit as much as I can, even though I can't grow much. Come on, Napoleon. Don't pretend and fake act right now, right? We gotta be real. <laughs> you remind me of like a puppy I want to pet right now. <laughs> Every time I watch his footage, I'm like, bro, I'm not even in focus. Just like that. Leonardo. I'm not a very superhero lover. Well, I just did it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at me! The rich guy just came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want him that's that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't blame him. It's only love. Because I'm so big and it's dope. Only... <laughs> uh, Jesus was listening. Yeah. No, Metal Jesus. He actually just dropped me off right now. No, it was Metal Jesus. Though. Yeah. Xbox is key. <laughs> <laughs> Leon the Professional? 
Oh, we're in Lancaster. Let's get out of here.